not into the game. So yeah, and actually have the Warmonger in the opening hand. Decimate's still in here as well. Do you want to shout that out, playing the burn heavy version? Oh, you know it. I love that. Which, um, I mean, this the, this is a, a matchup that we saw quite a bit in the previous meta. And one of the reasons that Thralls was able to be so prominent was not only because it had a good plunder matchup, but because it also had a good Scion matchup. So if you run into a, a lineup that isn't playing plunder per se, you probably still get to beat their, their uh, Scion deck. Yeah, and I, I mentioned this yesterday, too. I, I'm not crazy about how well Draven Scion's been performing as of late. It's by no means a bad deck, um, but I think it's more of a comfort pick than anything, and, and you really, I don't know, like you really have to be very, very good with the deck, I think, to get um, what you want out of it. So we'll see if Shadox is able to successfully pilot it today, uh, especially versus a deck like Thralls, where there's a lot of AoE. It's going to be hard to get. Uh, a lot of these early units like Boom Baboon and the Daring Poros or even a Fallen Slash Risen Rider to stick to the board. It's one of those weird things where things like Risen Rider are... They're iffy against something like Thralls because on the one hand, obviously they have 2 HP, which makes them susceptible to Avalanche and Blighter Ravine. On the other hand, there is only one fearsome blocker in Thralls and it's Kindly Tavern Keeper. Yep. The only, I mean, Talia as well, but that's not coming down until turn five. So, like, the, the Clockwork Curator and the Tal and the uh, Lissandra, those aren't going to do anything against these fearsome units. You are going to get to push a lot of damage, barring your opponent having the Sweeper. Yeah, and you got to kind of find those windows where you can push damage, right? Like an open attack here from Shadok. So, I like this. It's, you know, theoretically pushing a lot of damage before your opponent can play avalanche but there's also the the one kind of fast response aoe ice shard which unfortunately units like boom baboon and daring poro that takes care of just fine so uh still a decent amount of damage push though and with uh decimate and two get excited in hand i think everything's still looking pretty a-ok -okay for shadox here and one thing I want to call out in Shadox's deck is actually two copies of this Noble yeah. Rebel that we really never got to see. For those of you that haven't seen this before, gets plus two, plus one once you've discarded three cards this game. Sort of like the Buru Sentinel. And the Sentinels in general were like once they've seen you kill something, then they get a little bit bigger. Uh, so Noble Rebel is a three mana five four if How? you've discarded, or a five three rather, if you've discarded three cards. Was Basilisk Rider a four mana six four before it got nerfed? Yes. Was that okay? Okay, yeah. All right. Was, it was a six three, then it got buffed to a six four, then nerfed to a five four. Gotcha. Okay, I that's think. what I thought. Yeah, I think you're right. I think is the level of progression around. That. Yeah. So now, and I point that out because obviously now you know this is a five three for three, a uh, little bit of a different activator where Basilisk Rider is Allegiance. This is just discarding cards. Yeah. Um, I like this card. I'm good. To, good to see here. Yeah. And notably, I, it does go to three health, which is which is pretty important in this matchup. I have a side rant about Basilisk Rider, if you'll indulge me. Oh boy, I can't wait to hear this one. All right. So I think Allegiance cards are very cool and should be stronger than most of them are. Yeah. The problem is that because of the very specific tournament setting that we run, if Allegiance is good, you can typically just run the same deck three times and that is not entertaining. Mm -hmm. But from a ladder perspective, I think it's really cool. And I kind of wish that we had more allegiance cards per region. It does seem weird to me that we only have one per region. Um, yeah, I, I do agree, actually. Yeah, they haven't released any new allegiance cards. They just released the ones for the new regions that came out. Maybe... Yeah, which is kind of weird because, like, every region has multiple identities. So it's like, why does why is this identity of the region the one that gets yeah. the, mm -hmm. the allegiance card? Well, hey, I mean, listen, now that all the regions are out, maybe that's one of the focuses, right? So maybe... Maybe. maybe I mean, we out. don't know what sets are going to look like in 2022 after no. we finish out yep. the the bandle city block so you know maybe we'll get an allegiance set and i'll hate it and they'll completely flip my opinion on allegiance cards they'll be like, <laughs> we should never have made this this is a bad idea and because actually I just always like 10 allegiance cards you just build 40 allegiance cards throw it in a deck oh they all proc is magic misadventures the last of the bandle wood block no there are two more there's two more yeah, they split Bandle City into four sets oh and delayed the second set by two months. I thought we were going to kick off 2022 done with Bandle City, ready to go. We're not going to be done with Bandle City until the summer. Oh my god, wow, okay. Um, sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's then. what I said. That, uh, that was my thoughts as well. Okay, talk about... M m never mind. Alright, so anyways... <laughs> talk about a magical misadventure. <laughs> So we are going to see the Fearsome Block lined up as well as uh, Lissandra taking a little chump block here thanks to that tough keyword. And I am checking to see, yeah. So the, the Get Excited will trigger the Noble Rebel so that it can actually 
push mm-hmm. through over this Talia. Uh, but there's still the succumb to the cold on the side of easy. Yeah, and then now get excited going to the face uh, of easy to win means is this this is wait four five six seven eight eight you can cover the eye <laughs> it's eight. I have go to three OBS up man okay they'll go to three <laughs> got you homie um yeah so this isn't quite lethal but it will be once decimate is played and there is currently no other heal in the hand of easy to win so easy to win yeah i was gonna say i feel like we have to frostbite something here that does not uh, save a lot of life yeah. that also keeps us within range of decimate that was pretty greedy oh wow knowing yeah. that your opponent is a build that is playing decimate um you can't do that yeah you do not currently actually have a way to get the thralls online to get the tough nexus next turn you can get it down to one, but we'll see if we can top deck uh, something. No. Nope. Because the tough nexus does save easy at the moment, but we don't nope. get it. Nothing in hand saves us now. So as soon as Shadox gets a priority sequence, we should just see the decimate slammed down onto the table and take us to a game number two. Yeah, the clock can not even able to come down this turn, and that would have passed priority anyways. Ooh, Ravine would have done it. So does Shadox play it? There's no reason for Shadox not to lead with it, I think. There's nothing to play around, right? So, yeah, this is going to close it out. And Shadox taking game one. GG's there over easy to win. Yeah, I got to agree. That was greedy. I I, I think, um, yeah, obviously saving Lissandra, I, especially in this match. I want to clarify but, that yeah. it wasn't wrong. It was greedy. And it yeah, is yeah, different yeah. because yeah. that was the line that lets you level Lissandra and mm-hmm. start to, you know, take over the game with a tough Nexus and sort of be immune to burn for the remainder of the game. But you really have to hang on to your Lissandra to do that. And because so many of these units were stuck at one health, those ice shards would have been really big as well. Shadox just happened to have the punch. Yeah, but is there an there argument? A lot of I, I get I I understand how you're how you're fra- framing that, but is there an argument that it actually was incorrect when you have the knowledge that your opponent is playing decimate? Like, isn't it just always a higher chance you lose taking that line? Let me. I, I guess the best way to put it is, if I see you misplay blatantly, I will flame you. Uh, well, I will well not then. flame easy for that decision. <laughs> well, excuse me then. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I mean. You you've heard me flame players. Oh, before. I know what you mean. You do it on a regular basis. How could I not? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> because they misplay on a regular basis. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Blame it on the, it's their fault. You're an asshole. Okay, we get it. <laughs> it's not my fault they misplayed. It is my fault that I railed them for it. Maybe a little bit harder than any other caster in the scene would. But that's a that's a decision that I made. All right, a naked fork and crow. Wow, fork and I. Jesus, I don't even know what to call this thing anymore. Eddie Croker. For, <laughs> for, you just spent the day with Blood was, and Harry Pong anything think, other than Fortune I, Croker. I okay. think in my head I was going to call it Fortune Cookie, and I have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> you hungry, Doza? I am, yeah. I'm going out to, to Cheesecake Factory later. I think I'm already thinking about I've that. I've never been, actually. Dude, what? Every time my friends have tried to take me, it's just packed. You are crazy. It's so good. It is always packed, though. It's always packed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. So we do have the idol, though. A <laughs> uh, lot more. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was. Yeah. There is a lot more acceleration for easy to win in hand too. We got the curator. Uh, we got. We got a lot of ways to hopefully get this down pretty quickly. It'd be nice to double it up if we can uh, before we duplicate it with the Talia. That would kind of be the perfect draw here if we can manage to get one. Yeah. I don't. I don't think. We're going to do that. Even if you draw it here, you know, do you want to delay the Talia? Uh, well, if you have... Oh, no, yeah, you actually you need turn six to play both. So, yeah, I don't think you want to, um, especially... I mean, a deck like Plunder, too, it goes wide, uh, so you need those blockers. Talia is actually a great blocker versus uh, a lot of this board. So, And we're losing, we're losing the Curator here. So, yeah, I think we are just kind of forced to play Talia next turn. We'll see if we can find a good avalanche. Easy might just take like an open pass, but Ooh. then you're still staring down like three attackers. It, it gets a little bit dicey here. Oh, is this a bait? Yeah, <sighs> is this a bait? Oh. It, uh, I don't, I don't know that it's a bait, but it's a decision oh, to be made. It's and I, I think we know which one you would go for. Oh, I would totally pick promising future because that's what you yeah, do with this yeah. deck. <laughs> I would probably also pick promising future. <laughs> 
Like, it's either promising future or bust, all right, man? Like, I, think, I think what my turn would look like here is I would promising future, and then if yep. there's any further development out of Shadok, I'm avalanching. Yeah, and this is actually, and this is why we're okay with taking promising future, because literally, even if they don't develop, avalanche still feels good. Um, and you still keep your, your Lissandra through the avalanche, which is pretty amazing. So, And, and you, have Entomb. Here, you have Entomb if yeah. they're on a champion. If Shadok just passes back here, you know, so it doesn't give us an opportunity to play the Avalanche, per se. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it's going to go for the Monster Harpoon. Yeah, I'll probably Avalanche after that. Just Monster Harpooning my list. I'm going to go rude. Wow. And we have another, though. So that is great news for Easy to Win. This is a great Avalanche for Easy to Win. And that's going to mean probably Crackshot Corsair and Black Market Merchant if we want to try to push damage on the open attack, possibly. Yep, it's gonna nab a bladed ravine, and then, like you said, here comes the crack shot. That's gonna be four damage on the open. But once Easy gets down this Talia, that's four thralls coming out on Easy's next attack turn, and Shadok, a tough nexus eventually. Yeah, Shadok's kind of needed to like draw a leveled Sejuani. <laughs> you need, you needed to draw the best card in your deck in order to yeah. stay alive here. <laughs> and even that, you know, uh, there would have been an opportunity for Easy to actually just play the Talia have a tough Nexus, and now all of a sudden Warning Shot doesn't actually damage the Nexus. It doesn't proc yep. the the Sejuani, and um, I, I think this is just a, a quick win for Easy. Yeah, I, this is what this deck does, and this is one of the reasons why it's so good is, is this particular matchup, and I mean, this happens in a lot of other matchups too. It doesn't really matter what your opponent does the first six turns, because... Unless they kill you, then... <laughs> well, like unless, you, unless they kill you. You find yourself in a situation like this on turn six, where you're summoning, <laughs> you know... 27 stats worth of units it's actually that's actually less it's 32 i downplayed <laughs> it i was trying to be hyperbolic and i downplayed it but it's just it, you just win you know um yeah yeah it's as, it's as simple as that and uh and I, i'm pretty sure easy has lethal here guaranteed with either um in tomb or yeah fury of the north yeah what was that Eight, uh even without it we're currently 14. yeah yeah that's still lethal <laughs> it doesn't even matter so we didn't even have the Talia level, so even that didn't come in. But that's easy to win. Tying it up. 1-1, one, one, baby. Yeah, now easy going to be on either Thralls or their own Plunder deck. And, Doze, it's going to be... It's going to break my Whittle heart if we have to watch a Plunder Mirror here on the opening weekend of a new expansion where there's so oh. many cool new decks. Your Whittle has a 100% ban rate thus far, and that means we are going to get a Plunder Mirror. <laughs> are you really surprised? No. Like, come on. No. Your is, uh, your is pretty good. All right. Yeah, I, I that is seemingly, you know, we talked about this earlier where we thought the premier lineup was going to be, you know, maybe Plunder. Gangplank, uh, Yordles, and Kenanez. and Kenanez, yeah. And um, it doesn't surprise me that the, as I get this off the screen for you guys, um, it doesn't surprise me that the Yordles would be targeted because they do seem like the most ridiculously kind of like snowball-y deck over the first like three turns of the game. Um, it's just a scary deck. Doesn't really matter what deck you're playing. It's it's gonna be hard to take those down. All right, early warning shot with gangplank already in hand. So this could lead to with another warning shot and a monkey idol. This is almost certainly a level five leveled up gangplank, right? Yeah. Uh, and one thing, the one Ooh, difference between go. these two lists that I want to throw out here is that Shadox is on one three sisters. No Freljord splash out of easy. And actually, since Magical Misadventures came out, we have seen players unanimously move away from the field of rush that was the standard at the Between Worlds seasonal. Yep. And now they're either on nothing or they're on one of three sisters. All right. Warning shot number two coming down. Ooh, that's a nice pickup. Yeah. And uh, listen, this is oh, why. You just slap it on the monkey. This is why Plunder is so good, because you'd think like, oh, we're just like using arbitrary warning shots just to proc our level ups over the first couple of turns. We use all of our cards in hand. Even the monkey idols, they're all ephemeral. They're all like we're losing card advantage. Oh, then you have Black Market Merchant and Yordle Grifter, and it, literally all the cards I, just come flying back into your hand. I think I really like this monster harpoon from Shadox because Easy is so close to the leveled up Gangplank and Sejuani already. I don't think the monster harpoon is realistically killing either of them. I like making easy work for the plunder procs a little bit harder, given how few cards they have in hand. Yordle Grifter on curve, too. And we'll probably be able to warning shot and jagged butcher, too. 
or maybe not even yeah we're just gonna go I, in I, yeah i like open attacking instead and saying easy mm -hmm. you have to block with your zap spray and if you want me to use this warning shot yeah i like and that it's not too. worth it easy needs to preserve the zap i think you want to save those warning shots in hand for when your sejuani comes down mm-hmm yeah, there we go. So Shadok's getting the better and the uh, of it there. And the RLA to finish it off is going to put easy at four procs while Shadok's still at two. Well, this would, I mean, I imagine we get a warning shot. Yeah, so, yeah, so three, three to four. Easy going to have a leveled gangplank next wow. turn if they want it. Talk about a race to leveling gangplank here. This is insane. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's the leveled gangplank on five. Just a slight touch earlier than Shadok. And Shadok's had, like, the nuts to level Gangplank earlier, right? Like, we... Both of these players had hands to get this Gangplank leveled up super and this quick. And was, this was with Shadok's monster harpooning the uh, the monkey idol. Yeah. You know, to try to slow down the progression of this level up. And this is one <laughs> yep. of the reasons that he did it, is because once it comes down, it's out of the range. And yep. yes, he top decked Make It Rain on this turn and could have used it in combination to kill the Gangplank, but he didn't know he was going to draw Make It Rain the turn the Gangplank came down. Well, this saves a little bit of damage anyways. Yep. Two to be exact. And we're going pretty low, though. Uh, with two crack shot Corsair and a warning shot, another attack from easy to win if Shadox can't deal with the Gangplank this turn. Well, might spell he, deals, disaster. he deals with Gangplank with his own Gangplank, right? You yeah. warning shot, you level Gangplank, you yeah. attack. Well, and here it is. Feels good when, uh, and that's why it's always interesting in, in mirror matches like this where you try to figure out what, what has the advantage. You being the one to play the power card first or responding to the power card after it's been played and then being able to close things out. And in this case right now anyways, seems like Shadox is going to get the better of it now that this, uh, this gameplay is going to get cleared off the board and Shadox might be turning this around. But there's a monster Ooh. harpoon. But it's not oh, big enough to it's get not. the gangplank. We might oh. use it on the keg. I think you might have to monster harpoon the keg. Yeah, then then you do trade. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is one of the That's most crazy. wild sentences I think I've yeah. said in my years of casting Legends of Runeterra. Yeah, this makes but sense. You just don't, you cannot possibly allow the get like, oh, 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 then we're going to go for lethal. Yeah, because we lived through this. Yeah, but now Shadox has Make It Rain. He can hit the Gangplank. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh. Dota. What a mistake. Oh, what a mistake. I mean, this is going to be a keg. It's, so it's not guaranteed. It's yeah, not guaranteed. It is not guaranteed. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Um, it will kill Crackshot Corsairs, though, because there is a keg for Shadox as well. And I would imagine, yeah, going to pull that keg with the Gangplank. So if this make it rain misses we have lethal for easy lock it in that's a whiff that's, that's lethal. oh my god wow there's the zillion emo and easy to win taking it the gangplank stare down here easy to win playing it first and getting the better of that exchange We're gonna go up two one on docks and move on to I'm not sure if he's undefeated or not uh, that was check. one of the slowest sets we've seen, followed by one of the quickest. Yep. The Plunder Mirror <laughs> went a lot faster than I, I feel like they usually do.